Hey Aliupa and welcome to my big Swedish adventure. I'm riding the length of Sweden from north to south. Can you believe it? We're almost there. This is the second to last episode. Even though it's been hard at times, this has been the trip of a lifetime. And I'm just so honored that you've chosen to join me by watching these videos and leaving kind comments. You are awesome. Now, are you ready for some more beautiful Swedish scenery? Yeah, let's do this. I slept so well and I don't want to leave. <laughs> Someday, this gives me a dream, this gives me a goal. I want to have a backyard so I can build a cute little guest cottage like this. It really is amazing. Even the key to this place has charm to it. I'm looking out at some blue sky, but yesterday morning tricked me too. But I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful for a bit drier of a day. Thank you, super awesome little cabin. I love all the details on this little stuga, but especially this guy. They have a little owl hidden in this hole. Good morning, good morning. Tita. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this beautiful breakfast. Och hur gammal är stugan där ute? Den är sedan 1990. Look at this old cornflake tin. I love it. Vad gör den nu? Det är bara filmer. Filmar den nu när vi sitter här? Ja, jag sitter här. Jag vill ha en liten stund när vi äter tillsammans. Typ tre sekunder. Kedja. Ja, fast det är gummi. Den driver den. Den är lite annorlunda. Ja. Men det funkar jättebra. Mm. Vad smutsigt det var du. Ja, ja. Det, är, det är lite smutsigt. Mm. Jag ska mm. bara krama mm. dig. Oh, tack. tack, du är så snäll. Det var jättetrevligt tack. att tack, Magnus. få det som gäst. Ja, det var jättetrevligt. Det var trevligt, ja. Och vi ses någon annan gång i Sverige. Jag kommer tillbaka någon du dag. Till, du är välkommen. Hej då. Hej då, hej Glad fjärde juli. <laughs> hej, hej. Hej då. Ah, oh, once again, my heart is so happy. It really is. What wonderful people. So kind, so gentle. And I'm really glad they let me stay there. Because it was pretty cold and windy last night. The people of Sweden are just showing up every day. They sure are. Oh, it's going to be a good one. We've got sun, which is so nice. And uh, maybe we'll have rain later, I don't know. But uh, for right now, I have sun on my face and that feels really, really good. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. Oh, my knee's a little sore, I need to take an ibuprofen. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am really looking forward to today's ride because I get to ride along the edge of Lake Vettern which is one of Sweden's big, famous, beautiful lakes. And it should be pretty cool. It was really nice to start the day at a breakfast table, eating real food, healthy food, tomatoes and cucumbers, and talked about how Magnus lived in Minnesota back when he was in his early 20s. Like a lot of Swedes, they all went to Minnesota way back in the day. And there's still a whole bunch of Swedes out there in Minnesota. Skål! Oh, it's so good to see you, Shadow. It's been a long time. Woo! That's the way you want to be going 
That woman is not even pedaling, but I'm going the other way, into the wind. <laughs> but you know what, I'll take, I'll take a sunny, windy day over a cold, rainy day. That thing is flying today. That is a happy windmill. Back in the woods and blocks from the wind. Yeah. Thank you trees. I appreciate it. At this point, I'm just kind of used to a little bit of rain every day, or a lot bit. Ah, I love how trusting Swedes are. There's this little spot right here on the road, tobacco plants, 40 crowns each, that's about four bucks. You can take one and you just swish the money. Swish is kind of like United States version of Venmo, but they use swish for everything. They pay with their cell phone. They barely ever use cash in Sweden. Yeah, I just think it's cool. They just trust people to take one and pay for it. And I've seen these stands all over Sweden with fruits and vegetables and uh, strawberries, all sorts of good stuff. I stopped for lunch and I have this roof because it's rowdy out there. And look, they got my yummy vegetarian pizza. I am waiting out the rain in a candy store, a candy factory. I feel like I'm in the middle of a Willy Wonka movie. This is awesome. <laughs> and the colors, they make everything look so tasty and so good. I want to eat it all. I'm reading a bit about the history here, and it looks like this whole polka gris candy cane story was started in the mid 1800s from a woman named Amelia, Amelia Eriksson. She started it up, and it's now a huge thing. People from all over Sweden know that this is the place to go to get your polka gris. I'm not quite sure which flavor to get. There's so many, and they just look so classic, old-timey candy. And I'm coming out with some candy. I wouldn't go in there and not buy candy. Oh, and check it out. We've got sunshine again. All right, I bought this one pretty much just because the name is cool. Mm. It's gone. I have this in my mouth the rest of the day as I ride. Mmm, kind of like a cigar. All right, Grena, thank you for the pizza and the polka grease and the protection from the rain. The three Ps. So I was riding out of town, getting poured on. I looked at the weather, looked bad, rainy and windy all night long. I rode by this hotel that looked like a castle and I'm like, I'm getting a hotel. It's the 4th of July, I'm celebrating. Even though they don't celebrate in Sweden, I'm gonna take a shorter day. And look at my view of the lake. And I love in Sweden, you can actually open the windows in the hotel. In the United States, you can never open the windows, but I can hang right out of my hotel window and enjoy the fresh air and the safety of a roof and not get wet and cold. Oh man, that bed looks so good. It's only 3.30 p.m., but I've been going pretty hard for 13 straight days now, and I just want to take it easy. You know, I was just thinking, 
Everybody's waking up right now in Boulder and getting ready for the 4th of July. And I love this day. I always ride my bike up to this small mountain town, an old mining town called Gold Hill. And it's just the best of small town America. They have a pancake breakfast and kids playing everywhere. But the best part is the parade. They dress up all their old style fire trucks and whoop and holler around town. And it's rowdy and fun and goofy. And to me, the 4th of July is all about being with friends and family and celebrating community. And I've, al I've always been a, a very patriotic person. You know, I love, first of all, I love Boulder. I love my community. I love Colorado. I love my state. And I love my country. And we don't do everything right, not even close. But that's the beauty of being an American. We can criticize our, criticize our country in hopes of making it better. You know, every day I want to make my country a little bit better. And I try to do that through my actions and volunteer work and service and just being a nice person more than anything. Being nice goes a really long way. <laughs> so yeah, I'm proud to be an American. I'm also proud to have been a Swedish exchange student. I love Sweden. I lived in Honduras for two years. I love Honduras. I really develop connections with places that I spend a lot of time in. And it all goes down to the people, the people I meet and the connections I, I make and create and maintain. And that's what makes me feel proud to be an American, proud to have been a Swedish exchange student, proud to have been a Peace Corps volunteer in Honduras and I've been able to serve my country in that way. You know, my grandpa was in the military, he was a colonel in the army, and you know, I'm very, I look up to him. I'm very proud of him and what he did. And you know, I just didn't want to do that. That wasn't my way of uh, giving back to my country. And I'll never forget him saying, he's like, you know what? The Peace Corps is a great thing. You go do the Peace Corps. He's like, you don't need to do the army. So I'm gonna sit here and just think about pumpkin pie, wait, not pumpkin pie, apple pie, and all the good 4th of July food that we eat, and fireworks, and fun, and goofing around, and riding bikes, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I, I took it easy today, but that does mean that my next two days are going to be very long. <laughs> Remember, I have two more days now to get to Malmo, and it looks like about 100 miles each day. No more taking short days. I need to get there on Thursday afternoon. <laughs> uh, happy 4th, everybody. <laughs> Time to get on a fire truck. Pick a fire truck, any fire truck. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, yes! Wear our short sleeves again today. Colorado. You know why I wear these arm sleeves? To keep sun off my arms. And I always wear sunscreen. <laughs> Look at this breakfast. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat any of the meat, obviously, but there's all sorts of good vegetables. Let's see. Oop, nope, not bacon. Meatballs and sausage. Nope, not that either. Swedish pancakes. Yes, please. Skål. You should never let a bike packer near a buffet breakfast. We will eat a lot. We've got the pancakes with the jelly, some eggs, some cucumbers, bread, jelly, yogurt, and of course, I took a little bit of Nutella. Thank you, nice hotel. Time to go. Getting bikes into and out of hotels can be tricky. <laughs> Gotta carry them up a lot of stairs. All right, you can see my nice long shadow. All right, let's have a great day. Let's do this. I had a good rest last night. I'm happy I stopped early. Here we go, no crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Two days to go, hoping for a big 100 miles or so today. A little single track to start the day, that's nice. Ah. I'm literally 100 feet from the hotel here. 
Glad I have my mountain bike. <laughs> what am I doing? Ooh, bonk. Woo. Branch just tried to take my helmet off. <laughs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. Here we go. Oh, right into somebody's <laughs> uh, garage here. Or Let's see, how do we get out of here? I'm trusting you, Kamut. <laughs> All right, here we go. Maybe that was just a little shortcut to get to this awesome paved road. Look at this. All right, this feels good out here. Beautiful morning in the woods. Sun's streaming through the trees. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. They're all good days, really. Some are just harder than others. You know, what's funny is a lot of my friends back home have been asking me if I've seen the full moon. I guess it's been a full moon for 4th of July weekend. And it doesn't get dark enough. I have not seen darkness, pure darkness, in over two weeks now. <laughs> now at nighttime here, it gets darker than it was way up north. But you're not seeing any stars and definitely not a bright moon. I've seen the moon during the day here, but not at night. There's a nice one, look at that. are some incredibly beautiful country roads out here. This has been a very nice start to the day. Look at that sunshine, yes! I am now passing on the outskirts of Yunshuping. It's a pretty big student town. I'm not gonna go into town because it always just takes a long time to navigate through a city. So I'm gonna skirt the outside and continue going south. So here I am, enjoying a nice bike path, riding through Yun Shipping, and this gentleman is waiting on the side of the path and I don't think anything of it. And it's actually a friend, how are you doing? Very well, thank you, Ryan. Good, so <laughs> what, you've been following me? Yeah, I was in uh, Kiruna the 21st when you landed and we were on vacation with the family okay and we were grocery shopping and we were finished about a quarter past seven <laughs> and we looked up your flight and we saw that it would come uh, 20, uh, at eight o'clock yes yeah and then it was delayed yep yeah and we we were all on our way to our oldest daughter oh that's so funny uh, yeah so we had to skip that part to to meet you um and then we traveled back from the north and uh, last Thursday yeah. you started from Hernesand and yes. went to Hassela yeah. and Thursday evening we came to Sundsvall Oh no way! Oh, oh. You missed me! <laughs> we missed you! And in uh, Monday yeah. we saw that uh, you were passing Askersund Oh yes! Yeah, and we also passed Askersund. <laughs> so, so we took a little uh, road uh, down to Askersund and, and looked for where's Ryan. <laughs> no way, that's crazy. <laughs> and we missed you. Oh, uh, well, now you found me. This yeah. is amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. We're going to go ride for a little bit? Yeah. Let's do it, my friend. Yeah. Very cool. And what was your name? Anders. Anders. So Anders is taking me on a little tour of Yunshuping, showing me this beautiful beach along the bike path. And the weed whacker guys. <laughs> I 
Here we go, Anders! Ole, 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 ole! <laughs> yeah! I was just telling Anders here that it means so much to me that he came out. You know, I can sit at home and edit these videos and upload them in Little Boulder, Colorado, and uh, he will watch them in a tiny village over here in Sweden, and we can connect here. Yeah. And it just makes the world feel smaller and friendlier, you know, when you know that there's people out here, you know, looking out for you. So. I really appreciate it. And I was only, what, 15 kilometers from your house? Yeah, 15 kilometers. So why shouldn't I go out and meet you when you have traveled so far <laughs> exactly. to my country? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, as you've heard me say, I love your country. Jag älskar Sverige. Yeah. And it's because of people like you. It really is. I mean, it's just this, this whole adventure has meant so much to me. And it's, yeah. it's all the people. It really yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank, thank you. Hello! <laughs> And here I go, back out into the woods, into the wilds of Sweden. I was asking Anders how he found my videos. And he said during the dark, cold Swedish winters, he rides on his training bike and he watches YouTube videos. And he found my videos that way. And I've heard that story from a lot of people, that they watch my videos while riding exercise bikes in the winter. So for all of you exercise bikers out there, riding on the cold, dark days, these videos are for you. I love you, Sweden! Woo! Your Erska Sveria! You know, I'm thinking to myself here, as I do on my bike, to remember to savor these last couple hundred miles. I'm closing in on the end of this adventure. And there's a very, very good chance I will never do this again. This was my one chance to ride the length of Sweden. And it's been absolutely incredible and hard and frustrating and uncomfortable at times, but overall incredible, dream come true. And I just don't think I'll ever do this again. You know, some routes like the Great Divide or even Baja or the Colorado Trail, those ones I might do multiple times in my life. But coming all the way over here to Sweden, getting my bike all the way over here, it's an ordeal. So this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, it truly is and I'm savoring it. I'm just sitting and smiling and pedaling and looking up at these puffy Swedish clouds and the super green Swedish trees and smiling. Welcome back, Rain. I think it's been a whole 24 hours. I've missed you. <laughs> hey, little guy. What are you doing out there? Mowing the lawn in the rain. I'm just riding by and I see this little robot mowing the lawn. We don't have that technology in the United States yes, yet. At least I haven't seen it. <laughs> Robo mowers, it's like a Roomba vacuum cleaner. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of cute actually. See you later, buddy. Stay, stay dry. <laughs> Something like that is always good to put a smile on your face when you're getting a little wet. Rain, rain, go away. Come again the day after tomorrow when I'm done with my ride. <laughs> You 
know, I really didn't think I was gonna get rained on today. I thought today was my day, <laughs> but I was wrong. I can hear the birds singing, singing their happy songs. There's nobody that way. There's nobody that way. This is the benefit of riding your bike on a rainy day. Most people stay home. But not us, nope. My bike and I, we've got places to go and people to see. <laughs> Look at this, there's a birdhouse on the tree right here. I've seen these all over the country, little birdhouses hidden in the trees. It's really charming the way that Sweden takes care of nature. Oh, it's so beautiful! Woo! It's time to get some food at my favorite grocery store. There it is, Ika. So the good thing about these big Ikas are that they have a restaurant inside. So I got a nice hot panini. Of course, my power ball, the chocolate ball, and a protein shake. So I'm just gonna sit here in the rain and be happy as can be eating my warm food. <laughs> the entire way down Sweden, there have been grocery stores right off the bike path. And that's what I love about Sweden and Europe in general is that there's grocery stores everywhere in tiny little villages, everywhere. It's a lot different than the States where we just have really big ones that you have to drive to and buy all your groceries for one week and load up the car. Here, there's a grocery store around the corner. You just go every few days and just grab a few things that you need, you ride your bike there, and all is good in the world. Oh, and I get questions all the time about what do I do with my bike when I go into grocery stores or restaurants? Do I lock it up? No, I've never brought a lock on any of my bike tours ever. I don't lock it up. I just put it outside and trust in the world. And so far it's been okay. Love those birds. It stopped raining a bit, and the birds know it. They're singing their happy songs. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but the sun is out now and it feels so good on my face. I took off my rain jacket. Ah, oh, exhale. Woo, this is great. This is so great. Ah, oh, look where I am. It's so beautiful. Ah, woo. <laughs> the highs are higher after you've gone through the tough stuff. That's for sure. Woo, looking good, son. Love it. It's 8 p.m. And maybe now I'll start looking for a place to camp. <laughs> oh, what a day. What a beautiful, awesome, amazing day in Sweden. Let's go for our adventure. Let's go in here. I think
think I can camp anywhere on this road. Yeah, just need to find a flat spot and I'll be good to go. It all looks good to me. I think this is it. Home for the night, my final night in Sweden. And I wanted to camp tonight. I didn't want a roof. I wanted one last night in my tent in Sweden. I am sitting in my tent, happy as can be, eating my nut mix and some other goodies. Just really happy. <laughs> That's all I can say, I'm really happy. I felt so strong this afternoon. I just kept charging and going and you know, the highlight of the day was meeting Anders. He was just sitting by the bike path waiting for me. He had been there for like an hour and it was really cool to connect with him. He's such a good guy. And I really can't believe that I'm here. I'm so close. I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. And it's it's incredible. I, I love I love this feeling. It's really good. And so it's been a long day. I was on my bike for over 12 hours. I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna wake up, and we're gonna do this thing tomorrow morning. Okay, this is southern Sweden here. I am the blue dot finishing down in Malmö tomorrow. It's right across from Copenhagen, Denmark. And just to give you an idea, that's the bottom of Sweden. And the top of Sweden is way up there. I come, I've come a long way. Hey there. Good to see you. I just wanted to say thank you. Tack så jättemycket for watching all of these videos. For watching to the very end of this very long video and this very long series. I appreciate all your support. It means the world to me. I am here right now to say, hey, if you have the ability, please consider joining my Patreon. Your financial support makes a huge difference in keeping this channel alive. And you get something out of this deal as well. You're not just giving me money. You're gonna get early release videos with no ads. How cool is that? I also do Zoom chats with my patrons from time to time, and you'll have direct access to ask me any question you could ever want. We have a great community over at Patreon, but I wanna reiterate that this is not necessary. I just appreciate that you're watching my videos. That, may, that means the world to me. So you're doing the number one thing right there, just watching my videos. But if you can, for as little as three bucks a month, 30 Swedish crowns, you can be a patron and part of the party over there at Patreon. <laughs> so thank you all so much and get ready for the final episode. Ooh.